Hello everyone, it's Chris aka Taka, and it is time for this week's thrift and bizarre finds video. So, went to two church bizarre state, only one had good stuff. Went to Goodwill earlier this week and found something. And then I do have a toy to show you that I didn't get in either place. So I'm going to start with the toy just because I was so excited. Wendy's is doing their Boo Bag adult promotion. And in the bags you get Frosties. And in the adult ones you get one of two glow in the dark. And I went Tuesday and managed to get the variant x-ray version of it. So now if I go back, I can probably get the other one quite easily, but I couldn't resist getting a frosty guy for my advertising collection, especially when it glows in the dark. And then at Goodwill for $3, I got the Shywin uh, Fisherman Mud Man. Um, of course, his pole is broke. Only once did I find it where the pole wasn't broke. Um, and that one I kept and the pole was not only not broke, but I still had the fish attached to it, which is really rare. Um, he also has one little damage to his uh, chin hair here. It's not to a point like the other things, but it does not take away from him. It broke off in a way that looks natural and you don't really see it that much. But I've sold a similar one of him before for like 16 plus priority shipping. So I can probably get the same. Then at the church bazaar today at the rummage sale portion, I grabbed this mug in its original packaging. And it is a Taylor and Ning mug. So um, Ni I assume Ning is pronounced that way. It's NG literally. This is called the Rascal Rabbit. It's not as fun as the Naughty Rabbit's Orgy one or even the one I had that was a French rabbit one. But um, they go for 10 to $20. Mine's in the box, so it's probably gonna go closer to 20. But it's just like a crazed rabbit design. And in the box is the same pattern so you know it's the actual box for it so i paid a dollar each for this and the uh next thing which is a wreath candle holder which normally i don't do much for candle holders but this one's marked nibro sweden on the back so because of that i i grabbed it because i know swedish glassware does sell well and my quick research for that was one sold with a ribbon attached to it, like like this. Mine doesn't have a ribbon um, for 23, um, but that gives me a general idea. And then everything else I bought was jewelry. I think they overcharged me by $2. They charged me $39.20 for everything. And when I added up, it was $37.25. So I just think they accidentally hit the thing twice, but you know, at least it wasn't like a giant thing where I was like, wow, I spent double what I usually do here because I normally spend about a $20 bill and I spent 40 So, but it's not too bad. I can eat $2 for a charity thing. Um, but one thing is not going to get shown because it's probably going to be a present for someone. And then I, I did buy something else. that's probably going to be a present for someone at St. Vinny's today. So that was the only thing I got. So this was the most expensive item I bought and it's six. And I got it because it was so weird and cool. And I was like, that looks like a lot of metal work. And I need to research it at the very least because I couldn't find a mark on it. If I'd found the truly one Mark Sterling marked Ben on it, um, it could have been like three up to $300. But even as is, someone has a similar one up or just sold for 60 plus shipping. And they say it's a Hopi storytelling overlay of a bib necklace, pewter silver toned. So obviously I'm more towards the 60 than the 300, but um, this one has a village on it. The other one had similar pots, but in the desert that's silver, they look very similar and it's just whether you, yours is marked silver or not. So this is obviously the cheaper pewter one, but still very high quality. So I don't mind paying the six when it could be worth 60. So. And then this one was one of my cheapest finds. It was only 50 cents and it's marked. Um, but it was a really cool vintage-y kind of design. The chain definitely feels vintage. 
I don't think it's like silver plate or anything, but just really good quality metal. And it's marked to Trefari on this bottom here. Um, one online similar to it is up for 36 plus shipping right now. I didn't look too far into the solds. I just wanted to give you good estimates while we were doing this video, but the design caught me. And then other necklaces. All right, this one I paid 254 and I found one similar listed for 27 plus shipping right now, but it's not the exact same pattern. I got to like research a bit more into it. Um, but it, I didn't find any markings on it, but it's this like close a kind of bird thing. Pendant smooth back does come with a chain. And then this one, one similar to it is up for 15 plus shipping right now. It says it's by Rio Pewter, but I haven't been able to find the mark yet, but it looks very similar. Uh, this one I paid two fifty for. again, comes with a chain and it's this cute little like sailboat. I would say pirate ship, but I don't see skulls and crossbones on it. Um, but very detailed little ship. And then this one, I haven't researched much yet, but it is marked Trident on the back as the charm. Um, not sure if this necklace is that important, but it's $1.50, but it's this cute enamel fish. And it was marked, so I was like, well, I'll risk it for it being marked. Then probably one of the coolest items I found today was only $2.00. And it is this cool mesh belt bracelet. I haven't found any marks on it yet. Um, similar ones have gone like anywhere from 10 to 20. Um, but it's a very cool thing where you actually use it like a belt. And there are two settings. And then you push it under the thing. But you can see it acts like the belt would. So that just looks really different. I probably can't keep it anyway because it's probably not real gold or real quality plate or anything. So I would always have to wear it like this because even with my real sterling silver bracelet for Witchblade, I generally wear it over one of these shirts anyway because I'm afraid of breaking out so badly. But I thought that was totally cool. Then on the earring category, I haven't looked these up at all. They were just funny and made me laugh. They're like foot earrings that like remind you of Bigfoot. These ones obviously have like fake malachite in them because if I don't find a silver mark, they're like fake green. They're showing up more teal on camera though. The green shows up more in person. And then these, I didn't look up at all because at $1.50 just for the charms off of them, even if I just upcycle them into sun catchers, um, these two dream catchers are very pretty with the feathers and that. And then this I paid two for, and um, they're jester earrings, enamel ones. Um, I couldn't find, I found pins so far, but I hadn't quite found the earring set yet. They are marked on the back, 1988 AGB Inc, Atlanta, Georgia, made in Taiwan. But I thought those were cute. And then the last set of earrings I got were these lion ones. And again, I haven't been able to find any marks on them, but they were only 50 cents. And again, if I just use them as charms, quarter each is not bad, but they look like they are like in a circus or something, pulling something because there's like, a, like belting around them. Interestingly enough. And then I got some pins. My cheapest pin well, for 75 cents was a Joy Hello Kitty rainbow stocking, which I've not found yet doing research. So that that's just, it was just cute. And I said, if nothing else, I could always, you know, do that. All right. So one of these, I'm not even sure which size it is, is up on eBay right now for 16 plus shipping. So I'm sure my $3 was good. Um, they are just two cute monkeys, an obvious set with green eyes. 
They have an interesting texture and depth. And if the uh, listing is correct, they are probably marked Jerry's underneath. Yep, yep, they are. So they were at Jerry's pin. And then this one I, I grabbed not because they wrote Sarah Coventry on it, but because it was such a mid-century modern style, modernist design pin. Um, this one I paid three for. Um, let's see. I had one that sold for about 13 10 to 13 for the last three sales on that. And I didn't get everything researched in detail, but um, this one's an enamel peacock, supposedly, um, with rhinestones. And I, I do think all the rhinestones are there, but there could have been some really tiny ones on this lower tail that fell out, but they don't look like it takes away from it. But it was such a detailed pin that, again, if it didn't sell when I bought it, if I resell it, it would look good in my own pin collection. So, but I have to investigate with a fine magnifying glass to make sure. I did kind of have a bird theme in the jewelry, I've noticed. And then my, my two fun ones where I was just like, for a dollar fifty each, just throw them in the bag. I don't care if they're marked or not. Um, this cute trombone pin with rhinestones. And this cute little rifle with two pin bags. It might be a tie pin, um, but haven't looked this one up at all or looked for any marks yet, but it was just so cute. I'm like, I wouldn't mind it in my collection. So, so not a huge pile of stuff this week, but definitely more than the last few weeks. And, you know, even though you're right there at nine in the morning, you can't get to all the places on the jewelry spot at all the time. So I'm sure I might've missed something. Plus even when you go around twice, they have like eight tables set up in a circle. It's utter chaos. So, but I usually find one surprising thing in here and then the rest sell decently. And then I keep a few things. And so, but we will see, I will put my links for my Etsy and eBay trash to treasure stores below. I do have a few things left in Macari, but I think slowly by the end of this year, everything will be moved off of there that was there because I haven't had sold since December of last year on that. So I'm giving up on that platform pretty much. Again, if you saw something you really, really, really want, just put a comment down below and I'll tell you which site if it ended up on Etsy or eBay down below. Thanks for watching.